close your eyes. And because it's a little cold outside today, try to find the warmest spot in your body and focus there. And just think warmth, fire, whatever perception helps maintain that sense of warmth. And see how long you can keep it going and see if you can actually increase the sense of warmth that way. If your perception is steady and your focus is steady, it really does make a difference. It's good to know that you have these internal resources. Because this is what we have to go on in this world. The world has so many things that change, so many things that are unreliable outside. And if our own mind is unreliable too, where are we going to turn? We have to make the mind more reliable and teach it the skills it needs that well-being can be found inside. It can be nurtured inside and maintained, and it can be your source of strength. So when things turn really bad outside, your goodness doesn't have to depend on things outside. You might call this Buddhist survivalism. You want your goodness to survive, so you need your strength, regardless of what happens in society. That you're not going to kill, steal, lie, anything that's unskillful. You're going to hold to that determination that your most important possessions are your actions. And you might make sure they're skillful regardless of how other people act. And that requires inner strength. Because otherwise we latch on to things outside as being ours, and when they're threatened we start reacting all out of control. And whatever good things we have, they just get wiped away. So you want your goodness to survive whatever happens. So build the inner strengths you need, build the inner skills you need to take care of yourself. Just like survivalists need skills to live in the forest, live out in the wilderness. Okay, we need skills to maintain our goodness, maintain our virtue. And meditation is one of the most important ones. Your ability not to be overcome by pleasure or pain, that's an important one. You want to take them in stride and have that sense of solidity in the mind that enables you to stay in line with your your knowledge of what's right and wrong, regardless of what other people think or say or do. Your karma is your karma, theirs is theirs. So when you can't influence their karma to be good, at least make sure that your own stays good and doesn't change under outside influences. So it's little things like this, knowing how to stay warm when it's cold, knowing how to stay cool when it's warm, knowing to have a sense of solidity inside when things outside are changing. These are some of the skills that we need in order to make sure that our, our goodness survives. <laughs>